Well, hello to you there and a big greetings. Matthew MacDonald here and I've got a quick video here where I'm going to walk you through installing and setting up the new Dropbox video version 2. And what I'll do is I'll go first through the really basic actually installing the plugin, activating it and then setting up your first video. So you can go ahead and watch this video, follow along if you like or come back and then do it on your second time around so let's get started i'm logged into wordpress admin here and i've just headed over to the plugins page and from here we can add new we've also got a button up here add new plugin giving that a click then we select upload plugin next to the add plugins title and then we just select our file and upload it so giving a click here to choose the file it's here on my desktop. This is the package I downloaded from the members area. And I'm clicking install now. And let's go ahead and activate the plugin. And our plugin has been installed. Now we, all we need to do is activate our license and then we can link up our Dropbox account. So under the media here, we've got Dropbox video. Let's give that a click. And in the license manager box here, we just enter our email and password. If you don't see this box, you can always open it up here from clicking your license info. And there we've got a quick welcome, your package has been activated. Now we can go ahead and link our Dropbox account and we're good to go. So giving that a click, and because I've already authenticated my Dropbox account, it's linked up, it's brought me directly in here, but you'll just need to click authorize to enable the Dropbox video to look up your videos in your Dropbox account. Now the package has been installed, let's test it out. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a folder here and I'm gonna call this my test videos. And let's go ahead and select upload videos. And from here, I've got a test video and you'll find this video in the members area if you wanna use it. Open, and you can actually select multiple files and upload them all at the same time. So there we go. That file's been uploaded. It's in my test videos folder so we can keep everything organized. And here's my short code. So I can basically copy this short code and use it on a post or a page. And here we can see the file name, we can see the size, and also when we uploaded it. From here we can also download it directly, so if you wanna keep your files there handy, and we can as well delete the file. So let's grab our short code here, and we can go to a post or a page. I'm gonna go ahead and add a new post. I'm just gonna call this Dropbox video test. And here in the text view, which is really important, I'm just gonna paste in my short code there. Let's just quickly see if this file works. Publish, and we'll take a look at our post here. And there we can see our video is loading up nicely and we can test it out here with the play button. And the cool thing about this is it's using the browser native video player, so it's going to play really nicely and, and it's super lightweight. That's Dropbox Video version 2, really quick to get started. And I'll have some other videos where I'll, I'll go through some of the more advanced features and also some of the quick features like autoplay and hiding the controls.